Hi, Lorraine. Uh, I think I see what happened. See as I hover here, these gray lines on the right and left, this makes a column. So the way it's set up now is all of these photos are in the left column, and the names are in the right, and this is the third column. When the page is viewed on a mobile device, the columns are stacked. Uh, the first column, see all the names go, f all the pictures go first, then the names. And so the way to fix this is to take your little, uh, yeah, you can use a spacer. So what we're really going to need to do is use these dividers to divide up our people entirely. So see, I'm having to rearrange, and you're going to know that these go the right place better. Oops, I think this one's here. I probably aren't going to, in the end, need these spacers. So, oops. All right, so i got to get Father Joe underneath. I think that's Father Joe. All right, and then we got to get Father Ed underneath Father Ed. we got to keep these names in the same column as the photo. Okay. Now I'm also going to go into the code and I'm going to make sure and these okay. I'm going to line a left align these. Now if you wanted it to be the right, now we can put it to the right of the picture. See that? You can have columns inside a column. So what I'm doing now is basically rearranging it how you had it. But all of these are Okay, we're not probably don't need this space. I'll show you a trick here. These dividers have built-in spacing tools, so spacing above, if you need it more, you can go large. Usually medium's pretty good though. Okay, now let's pick take a peek at the mobile view. I realize there's different mobile views, but this is one. Okay, and we have the names. We have the, we have them the names showing up with the picture, so that's what we want. Okay, and we want to make sure this picture is left aligned so that on the app it aligns left. I mean on the website view it aligns left. Here's another trick you might not know. When you grab this, if you hold shift and click, you can move it pretty much down to the pixel. If you don't hold shift, you move in chunks. The chunks, the chunk movement is good for aligning things automatically, but it doesn't get very precise. So I'll see what I'm doing here. I'm now, if you put this here, that's going to be an image on top of text. I think you have the right idea with the text to the right of the picture, left. Okay, you can even do other little things. See, he's down a little bit, spacing top, spacing none. You can go, and through, go through and do that for all of them. Don't need that there. It'll happen automatically. Okay, we don't want a spacer. We need a divider. Yep, we need a divider so it looks good on the mobile view. Okay, we got to get Deacon underneath Deacon. I think you're getting the idea here. You probably can get rid of all your spacings. I'm just going through here. And I do apologize if I'm putting these names in the wrong spot, but I think it'll be easy for you to fix now. We'll get rid of this and this whole extra column. Oops. All right. We've got to put dividers here, left to line, making this its own column. Okay, now it's not terribly obvious that this is a link, so I'm going to pause the video here and go make something in the code, change these to be underlined. Okay, now these look more like links. Okay, you also have homilies and recordings here. You probably don't need homilies there. So I'm going to delete that. I like your Parish Talks button. I would also put a divider here at the top just so that I can tell where the content begins and ends. You could align that to the right. It's up to you. Another thing you might want to do instead of doing Father Tom, or maybe you don't make this a link, maybe you just make it his name, then you could drag in a button that says listen to Father Tom homilies or maybe even just listen now 
because buttons look like something you're supposed to click. It might be a little bit better for the user, so let's see. You're going to have to, I don't know what that link is, but you'd get that link, and of course you'd paste it here. So th that might be an idea. Uh, it will only work if things are clear here. See, listen now underneath fire time. Looks pretty good. Looks kind of fun to click. Just an idea. But uh, that, that would do the trick. You're just going to have to keep shaking these out as I was showing you to do. Bring this over to the right. It was really all just about columns. Okay. Might as well finish it up for you. Don't need the spacer. Do want a divider. Name over here. I think it's great that you're doing this, though, that you're recording them and that you're using the embedded MP3 tool. That's that's really wonderful. That's really great. Okay, I think that explains everything for you and will help you going forward. Thanks so much.